I believe with all of my heart that you are about to begin one of the most incredible journeys of your life as we experience together what it means to ask God for the impossible through this Sun Stand Still short film experience. When I wrote the book, I knew that I wanted to do a whole lot more than just put down words on a page. I wanted to invite people in to the epicenter of a move of God to experience what it means to live life on a level of faith that believes that God can do anything. And this short film series is going to help you not only track my story of what it means to trust God to do the impossible, but to help you develop your own story and to find yourself in the middle of a move of God. Here's what we're going to do. Over the next several weeks, you may be watching the short film series in a small group format. You may be watching it all by yourself as a companion to the book, but I'm going to take you into some of the places and spaces where the story of the book Sun Stand Still developed. You're gonna to get to see the kitchen table where I had my page 23 vision, where God spoke to me about His purpose and His vision for my life. You're gonna to get to see the college dorm room where we had a ramen noodle revival, where I began to see what God can do when you offer Him what you have. You're gonna to get to see the loading dock where our church prayed and God made a way uh, when it seemed to be impossible. And all of this is in an effort to help you begin to imagine what it's going to look like in your life when you begin to pray with audacious faith and believe God for the impossible. I could not think of a more appropriate setting to begin this short film experience and to begin your Sun Stand Still journey than outside of Time Warner Arena where we held our Easter worship experience less than five years after our church started with over 11,000 people and saw hundreds of them give their lives to Christ. It was the culmination of the most audacious dream I ever dared to dream. It was the answer to my Sun Stand Still prayer. And as we sit outside of this arena and begin this journey together, I want you to get a clear picture maybe not of an arena or a church that God has called you to build, but of the impossible thing that God is calling you to believe Him for in your life. And I believe with all of my heart, He's going to do it as we learn how to pray for God to make the sun stand still.